Hello everyone, my name is Berta and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be recreating the character Beth Harmon from the Netflix series A Queen's Gambit in The Sims. In case you're wondering, I'll just mention it. She will be on the gallery and I will make a CC list. Everything should be in the description down below. So yeah, let's get into this. First of all, I want to say that I am not going to give any spoilers in case anyone is wondering, but I wanted to quickly tell you what The Queen's Gambit is about in case you haven't seen it yet, because if you haven't, I highly recommend you do. It is a series set in the 1950s and 1960s, and we are following a character called Beth Harmon. We start the series when she is still a child and she is in an orphanage and she learns how to play chess and becomes very, 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 very good at chess. So she starts doing tournaments and stuff. She gets adopted, but drugs and alcohol are a problem. And I'm not gonna say anymore, but I think her character is extremely interesting psychologically and physically as well. Her face is very interesting. And that is also definitely one of the reasons that I wanted to make this character in The Sims. Let me tell you how I go about making sims that are representing people in real life. The first thing I do is make a general face shape and you know, I, cha I change the eyes, nose, the mouth, the face to resemble globally, generally the face of the person. And that takes a long time. I also have extra sliders in my game to be able to do this because without there's going to be so many nuances that get lost, you know? So yeah, I use extra sliders. I want everything to be exactly the same because if something is off, you can see that immediately and it's very hard. But yeah, I do that. So you have the, the general face shape. Then I add some skins. Not necessarily the, the very details, but like the skin that goes over her whole face. And then, then I go into the very small skin details. Oh, I, I also change her teeth, by the way. I don't always do that. I have a skin detail pack kind of thingy where it gives you many different minuscule face details that you can add onto your sim. And I use it always. like. Every time I make a sim, I use it to make my sims look different from each other, to make them look unique, to make them look real. That's, I, I use a lot of skin details to uh, make that happen. I do all this by saving a lot of pictures of the person to my computer from uh, the front, the side, and I make sure that those are high quality pictures so I can zoom in a lot if I need to, and that there are enough uh, that there's enough contrast in the face because you want to know where the shadows of the f like the shadows and the way the light falls on the face indicates how the face is shaped so i use pictures like that as a reference to make the sim then i choose an outfit that the person has worn either in real life or in a movie if i'm creating a character and I go on a big CC hunt to find stuff that resembled the outfit that I chose. And this, for this sim, was particularly hard because it was set, as I said, in the 1950s and 1960s. And trust me, there is not that much CC out there um, for clothing nor hairstyles that resemble the clothing that Beth Harmon is wearing in The Queen's Gambit. So that was a struggle, but I ended up finding some stuff. I found a few hairstyles that really suit her. So I guess I did all right. It, it was a struggle, you, you gotta believe me. So if you ever want to, to make some um, 1950s or 60s inspired character, know that it might be hard to find some fitting CC. I am very excited to see what you guys think of this video because I did one 
like real person in the sims video before in that video i made luna lovegood from the harry potter series and you guys really seem to like that one so even though it's super hard and so much work i am very excited to do this video and i hope you guys like it it's also been quite a while since i have done create a sim videos because when Eco Lifestyle came out, I decided to do a let's play and I absolutely love doing that. But since I at the moment can only make one video a week and I didn't want like two weeks to be between two episodes of the let's play, I did only the let's play basically and I haven't done create a sim for a long time. So that is also... I'm just excited to be back in Creative Sim. It has been a long time since I did this. I would also really like to know if there are any characters from books, movies, series or uh, real life people that you want to see me make in The Sims. Because there, there are so many possibilities. I don't know what I would choose. So if you guys have any ideas on who I could make, please let me know in the comments. In the last video I asked you guys whether you wanted a snowy escape let's play and some people have said that they did want it but um, I don't think I'm going to be doing a snowy escape let's play. I have a lot of ideas that I want to do and I don't have much time you know so I, I need to choose and I'm choosing to do the other things. But I do think I will be making uh, I will be doing streams with the snowy escape pack. Like, I want to discover this pack because I haven't played the gameplay yet and I really want to. So I am going to do that on stream. And possibly I will put the VODs up on YouTube, but I'm not exactly sure. Either way, if you want to see me stream the snowy escape pack, you can follow me on Twitch. Link is in the description. I have been thinking of moving my sim streams, like only the sim stream particularly, to my YouTube channel. And I am wondering if any of you have experience with streaming on YouTube and or if any of you watch YouTube streams and what are you, your experience with that? If you watch live streams on Twitch and YouTube, like which do you prefer? Or if you stream to both, which do you prefer? Um, what are your experiences? Let me know because there is... I did so much research, but it's like the one person says, yeah, you gotta stream on YouTube and the other one's like, no, you don't. <laughs> you shouldn't. And then if you do, there is lots of things that you have to keep in mind. And I am wondering if it's worth it. Like, would you watch sims live streams on my youtube channel i would like to know that anyways to go completely off topic how are you all doing i really hope you are doing well in these difficult times i'm doing fine i have to go to the vet after recording this voiceover unfortunately because luna my guinea pig isn't doing very well and we don't know what the problem is so we're gonna have to go to the vet and to be completely honest with you i am a bit afraid that the vet might not be able to help her anymore because she's so old so yeah that's what i'm doing tonight <laughs> on the brighter side this saturday it is a national holiday in the netherlands and it's more so for kids but we're just going to go to my parents to have a, what do you call it, cheese fondue? Is that the English word? That's what we're going to do. And it's all going to be safe, don't worry. But I am excited to, uh, to do that because, you know, I don't really go anywhere. <laughs> so it is nice to uh, see my parents and um, have some good food together with them. I just realized that I accidentally changed one of her traits so i will have to change that back anyway i gave her the traits genius because beth Harmon is is literally a genius and here you see the perfectionist trait but it must be the ambitious trait because she is determined to kind of 
beat everyone else in the tournament. So that's why I thought of Ambitious. And then there's Erratic because she has some emotional problems and sometimes she reacts a bit strange and unusual. So that's why I thought the Erratic trait would suit the Sim. And what did I give her for Aspiration? I think I gave her the world famous celebrity one. Not that I think she is after fame, but she does want to be the best in chess. So that's why I thought of that. Also, as I said, the sim is going to be on the gallery. If you want to find her on the gallery to put her into your game, make sure you tick the show custom content box and you can look for my EAID simming bird or for the hashtag simming bird. And the CC list will as always be in the description. So go download the stuff if you want her in your game exactly the way I made her. So for now I want to say thank you all for watching. If you like this video please don't hesitate to subscribe for more content and I will see you all next time. Bye!